Good morning, people of God. Happy Monday. I pray that your day is going well. Y'all know what time it is. You know it's Monday. I'm about to give you the scripture of the week so you can start your week off right. And we're actually going to be reading from Proverbs 19.21. I'm excited to read this scripture because it had me reflecting on some things. But this is what it says. It says, many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Okay, so what this scripture is saying is... We plan our days ahead a lot of times, right? A lot of us write down things that we're going to do throughout the week. We uh, we write down things that we want to do for the year. We 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 make plans, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with making plans because God has given us the ability to, to make decisions, to go through a decision-making process, right? But at the same time, because we are children of God, we have to be open to understand that sometimes God will change the course of our plans. When twenty, when we had 20 year 2020, a lot of us planned for that year to be the ultimate year. We planned for that year to be, man, 2020, the year of vision. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start that. For me personally, I had plans to go to Nigeria and just live my best life, right? But God put a pause on things for a lot of people. And people had to go through different, you know, different routes than what they originally planned, including myself. But in that process, God revealed himself to a lot of people. A lot of people grew a relationship with God. Uh, a lot of people experienced trials and tribulation. A lot of people were blessed during this pandemic. But my whole reason in saying this is it's okay to have a plan. It's okay to have a plan because God knows that we, we like to plan things in our hearts. But you have to be open that God may change that route. You may be a person that wants money. You want to be rich. You know that you're going to be rich. And maybe God even showed you that you're going to be rich. But the plans that you may have, like, yeah, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to make sure I get this fat house. Everything's going to be good. But God may use you, put you in a position to have money but use you to help the needy. He may use you in such a powerful way that you never even thought that you could be used with your money and those plans will change for you. So you have to be open because God can change it quick. And when it says, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand, understand this, when God planned for you, his plan is always going to make sense and his plan is always going to fall through. So we can make plans all day long. I can make a plan right now like, yeah, I'm about to book me a flight to Jamaica and I'm going to have my uh, have my friends come with me. We're going to lay on a beach. We're going to do all this. And God can change those plans like, nope, you stand in Cincinnati. I got an assignment for you to do at this church or with some people with the needy or with some children that really needs to hear a word from me. God can change those plans. So whatever plans I make, I can make those plans all day long. But what God wants to happen will come forth and it will stand. So I encourage you, work people of God, if you are planning, it's okay to plan. Like I said, it's okay to plan. It's okay. We do it all day. But be open that God can change the route to some of your plans. It may not be exactly how you want it or how you thought it would be to your plan because he can change it at any time. So I encourage you all to just be open to God's will for your life. You know whatever he has for you is going to be perfect. God is perfect. Everything he, he does is perfect. So when it aligns to him, you have nothing to worry about. And when you do make plans, make sure you give it to God. Make sure they're aligning to what he wants you to do. So God bless you all. Make sure you tune in on the One in a Million show every Saturday at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 1320 AM WCBG. God bless you all. And I will see you next Monday.